Hi, this is Sean with MP3 Card. Today we'll be taking a look at Dash Command for iPhone. So to get this all started, you need a piece of hardware to go with the iPhone app. And I have the Elcan WLAN 2 here uh, that you can buy. Just look for wireless OBD2. And it's, all it's got to do is create an ad hoc network. Once there, all you got to do is go to open connection. It'll find the OBD2 connection and then you're good to go. Before you get started with Dash Command, make sure, make very certain that you actually add a vehicle. So go over to the second page here and choose Vehicle Manager, and then add your vehicle in the information here. I've already added mine, so we're good. It's got this really cool feature called Racetrack that allows you to draw a line. So it's going to GPS track you. It's going to ask for your location. And then it's going to track you as you do your journey. Now what it's going to do is draw a green line on where, where you're actually speeding up or accelerating, and then it's going to draw a red line, or actually shaded yellow, when you're actually decelerating. That way, at the end of the whole trip, you can actually see where you slowed down and where you sped up. It'll also zoom out. Right now it's up really close. It'll zoom out the whole way so you can see your entire trip when it's done. And then with your vehicle saved, you can actually log the data and save it for next time. So Skidpad is a little applet that uh, Dash Command has. It allows you to see your G-force going around turns. It also lets you see your forward acceleration and your backwards braking. That way you can actually uh, see how hard you're pushing your car. Not only that, it'll save all your history for your forces. So if you can see mine here, I've got a ton of history that I've been using this with, and you can see how far, what my max g-force was going around a turn, or what my max acceleration was. The inclinometer is basically a visualization of your iPhone's accelerometer. So if you're, uh, if, if you're off-roading or if you're going through an on-ramp or something, you can actually see the roll of uh, your car and you can actually see the pitch it actually is going to measure that way too and there's also another view here which is kind of cool that allows you to see it in jeep view so you can actually see uh, what what your car is doing in terms of a little jeep character so one of the last features I want to show you and probably the most important with any OBD2 app even for Windows or iPhone it's important to have your dashboards that show you all your PIDs available for your car so, for example, this is going to show me my vehicle speed and my fuel consumption all in one screen, and you can actually uh, go to different views and see, you know, your miles per hour and your engine temperature and all that kind of stuff. So overall, Dash Command is a really good OBD2 app that it gives you a lot of information that engine diagnostic technicians are really going to love, and car enthusiasts are really going to like to have all this here, especially since it's got its counterpart for Windows that's been so popular. The only things I didn't like about it are that you can't actually swipe to go through the screens, you have to use the arrows. And then you actually have to choose whether it's landscape or portrait mode for the graphics on the uh, dashboards to look right. And that's because in future versions, just like its uh, Windows counterpart, you'll be able to draw your own dashboards and load them in. Thanks for watching.